We all know how Procreate layers act like tracing paper when you're designing on the iPad. But do you know all the ways you can rearrange, duplicate, or group layers, or retroactively adjust the hue, saturation, or brightness of any color on its own layer, or change the size and proportion of a layer selection in four different ways? Hi, it's James, and it's day three of the 12 days of Procreate, so get out your iPad and draw along as we learn how to design smarter and faster with Procreate layers. To manage layers, Open the Layers menu, tap on a layer, and simply move it up or down in between other layers. To group layers, select the first layer, then swipe left to right on however many more layers you wish to group. Then tap Group icon at the top, Close the group with a small arrow and add any name you wish. To duplicate a layer, in this case to saturate these colors more, swipe right to left, tap duplicate, and notice because of the multiply blend mode, the colors get more saturated. To do that again, swipe right to left, duplicate the layer. To delete layers, swipe right to left and tap the delete button. Right to left, tap the delete button. To isolate the contents, of a single layer, go to the layer you'd like to use, tap and hold down on the checkbox, and only that layer will remain visible. To add all the layers back in, tap and hold the checkbox one more time, or to selectively add layers one at a time, return to the isolated layer, then tap on any additional checkbox to see all of the layers build up again. To use layers like tracing paper, select the drawing you need to work on, go to the top of the layer stack, add a layer, Select white or any other buff color you'd like and drag and drop the white over the entire sheet at the top of the stack. Then tap the blending mode icon and reduce the opacity of the layer of white. Then add a new layer. Select the color you'd like to sketch in. Select the pen you'd like to use and begin designing. Note that all of your design work should be on the layer above the tracing paper and that the tracing paper opacity can be adjusted at any time. And here's your one minute masterclass for the Move and Transform tool. To use the Move and Transform tool, tap on the icon. Use Uniform Mode to uniformly reduce or enlarge the image with exactly the same proportions. No other options are available, although you can rotate the image using the handle on the top. Two finger tap returns us to where we were. Use freeform transformation mode to shorten or lengthen or squish the image in either the vertical or horizontal dimension. No other manipulation is possible, only horizontal and vertical. 
and two finger tap to return to its original state. To transform the image in distort mode, tap distort and notice that the sides are now independent of each other. They can be moved as parallelograms, but they'll still stay fixed in only one dimension at a time. Or choose any of the vertices and distort the image however you please. And finally, to distort the image or transform the image in warp mode, simply squeeze anywhere in the box and pull any part of the image separate from the others. And this can even include warping the image back around itself. Choose Advanced Mesh to have even more control over the image. And to return to its original state, undo the tool and simply hold two fingers down until the image goes back to where it was. To use the selection tool in all its modes, choose the selection tool at the top. Choose the freehand tool first. Select the portion of your drawing you would like to isolate. Tap the move tool and move that section of the drawing any way you would like. To use the rectangular selection tool to do the same, tap the selection tool, tap rectangle, and stretch the rectangle over the area in question. And the same goes for the ellipse selection tool. Tap the ellipse, start it in the upper corner of an imaginary rectangle, pull down, and select that way. To copy and paste your selection on a different layer, tap copy and paste here, and notice that that layer is now on its own layer. That part of the drawing is now on its own layer. To use the selection tool in automatic mode to select a color from inside a layer that contains many colors, select the selection tool, select automatic mode, and choose the color you wish to isolate by tapping and adjusting that tap in a right to left motion until all of the layer is selected. That layer can then be copy and pasted onto its own layer as here and the color can be changed in any way or that color can be selected in automatic mode and with a three finger swipe it can be cut and paste onto its own layer and it will now be missing from the original layer it was edited from. Let's do that again to get it really into our muscle memory. I choose selection tool. I choose automatic mode. I tap the color within the layer that I want to isolate. And I use a three finger swipe and tap cut and paste to remove that color and put it on its own layer where I can now independently adjust it from the other colors. Don't forget to download the free assets in the description below. To see the next video in this series, click on the video you see here, and I'll see you in the next video.